In today's video, we have the MSI GP65 Leopard laptop series. So in this video, I am going to be opening this up to show you upgrade options. Now for this particular customer, we will be upgrading the 512 gigabyte SSD to one terabyte SSD, and we will be adding a second eight gigabyte RAM for a total of 16 gigs of RAM. So first I'm gonna turn the computer off and I'm gonna turn upside down. The tools I'm gonna need for today's disassembly and upgrade video is just a simple small Phillips head screwdriver, a plastic wedge, and the components that we are gonna upgrade with. So first, uh, just take the Phillips head screwdriver and take all the screws out. The screws for this model are all the same size, so you don't actually have to remember which screw went into which hole. Let's take a look. So it's never a good idea to start opening the computer from the other side with the audio jacks because of the shape of the audio jacks. Um, it's actually very hard to pry open from this side. So with the laptop bottom up, I'm going to start off at the lower left hand corner with my plastic wedge. If you don't have something like this, you could just use a credit card. So I'm just going to get myself in there. And then once I'm in, I'm going to gently slide it down to actually undo all the clips holding the back panel together. Okay, you can see it has come apart. I'm going to do the same for the side here. I'm also going to run my wedge from the hinge area, on the left hinge area down and do as many, uh, undo as many of the clips as I can. You just want to be gentle. You just don't want to break anything. And you can see this between the USB ports. This is actually a clip here, so you have to be very careful with that so you don't break it. Okay. Now, on the right side, we are just gonna undo the clip, so we're not gonna pull it off right now. You can take a, yeah, there we go. So undo the clips. Fantastic. Now the tricky bit is the top. This is actually where you can actually, you could break the clips, holding the hinge plate. So I'm gonna get at from the left, top left, and I'm just gonna insert my wedge and just slide down. The seam is not a straight line. You have to actually look at the curves. Okay, put the, the wedge down and pull from the corner slightly. And you can see it's, it's, the, it's giving way. And just keep gently, we're, we're just trying to undo the clips. We don't have to force it and slide it down to the top. There we go. Look at that. All right, from here, just lay it flat and just pull. And there we go. Fantastic. All right. Now, let's take a look at the inside components. Okay, now once we're inside, let's take a look at the design. Before we do any more work on this, first thing we want to do is remove the battery. And for this model, it's very simple. This is the battery on the at top right here. Just well, grab it, pull up and out. There's almost no resistance. It's very painless. Now, let's look at the upgradability options. So for this laptop, we have one M.2 slot, which currently has the included 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD. We're gonna be upgrading this to a one terabyte NVMe SSD from Motion Digital. I'm gonna have the links to this exact product in the description. You can see there's actually two slots for RAM that's covered by a protective film here. And you can actually see the included eight gigabyte RAM stick here. We're just going to be adding a second 8 gigabyte. I'm going to have the links to this in the description as well. Now, a third upgrade option that we can do is actually we can add a 2.5 inch laptop hard drive here. We're not going to be doing that for my customer, but I did bring 
uh, hard drive just um, just as, as an example to show you how this hard drive would be installed so I'm gonna be showing how to install this but I'm gonna be taking it out before I actually reassemble this laptop because the customer did not ask for it okay first thing we want to do is to take out the the m.2 drive very easy we just take us our Phillips head screwdriver and just take out the screw and we're going to lift the M.2 SSD up from the edge here. Now there are thermal pads underneath this SSD which will provide a bit of resistance. You, just, you want to be delicate because you don't want to snap the SSD or break it. I'm going to leave the thermal pads in here. So we took this SSD out and um, I'm going to take out the SSD from the packaging. No, just, no. no special skill required for that and we have the SSD out regard that step now I'm gonna put the new SSD in this M.2 slot get the screw and screw the SSD in great now I just upgraded the SSD from 512 to 1 terabyte it was pretty painless so I'm gonna take this RAM stick here I'm gonna just take off the flaps and I can actually see, you can actually see the, the, RAM, the RAM slots more clearly now. So we can see the original RAM stick and we can see the empty RAM slot here. I'm going to be installing this RAM into the empty slot. Now, now when you're installing it, make sure the notch on the RAM stick lines up with the notch on the memory slot. It could only fit one way. So you install it at an angle, push in until there's no more give. Then you just snap it back for some other board. And we just upgraded the RAM to 16 gigabytes. All right, so now I finished with all the upgrades my customer has asked for, but for you viewers, let's take a look at this hard drive slot here. So, as I said before, this is just a sample hard drive. I'm gonna include a link of the actual hard drive I would recommend if you are performing this upgrade yourself in the description. Now, in order to add a secondary hard drive, we have to take this bracket out and we have to attach this bracket into this hard drive and we have to install this whole thing back in. So in order to take the brackets out, take the two screws out. There we go. Now we have this bracket out. Now, take this bracket and take the hard drive and you have to line up these holes to the holes on the hard uh, to, the, to these holes on the hard drive. Do that by starting it like that, and you see these two screw holes. Now, the, um, with the manual of the laptop, you see there's actually two screws included. I'm going to show you how to attach that. So I'm going to open up the manual packaging, take out this bag of screws it up and there we go now I'm gonna take these screws and I'm gonna use this to secure the bracket and the hard drive together like that this one this two There we go. Now, we're gonna take this bracket and the hard drive assembly. We're gonna open this flap. And basically, you see these connectors on the hard drive has to line up to these connectors you see around, you see here. And you're gonna, and you're gonna plug it in and basically set it and put the screws in together. Uh, but when I'm trying to insert it, you can see that in this case, the wife, the Wi-Fi cables get in the way so i'm just going to use one of my fingers to nudge the wi-fi cables out of the way then insert it let it rest and let the wi-fi cables go let the flaps go from here i take the original screws that was holding the bracket down and screw it in like that
and that's how you add a second hard drive to the to this laptop model. That was pretty easy. For customers that want to know how to repaste the machine, it's actually very simple. You take these screws out, one, two on the left fan, one, two on the right fan. You want to take the four screws out um, from the heatsink that's covering the graphics card and you want to unscrew these three retaining screws that's covering the cpu and then this whole thing will just lift off there will be a bit of resistance because there are thermal pads which kind of um, adhere together so you just pull it you just um slowly just you can just pull that out and you can wipe the thermal paste off with any paper towels and you could reapply new thermal paste and put it back together and put all the screws back Okay, now after we're done with all the upgrades, what we want to do is put this laptop back together. So it's pretty simple, just put the battery back in. Like that. And now we want to, we now have to put this bottom cover back in onto the laptop. Just basically the, it's easier to put it back than it was to take apart. <laughs> all right, so what we want to start off is, we actually want to start off by we should zoom out here. So we want to um, start off by by um, starting with this side here with the audio jacks, but this is the part that protrudes out of the case. So we take this and line the audio ports like that. And you see, uh, the first thing that we do is actually align these corners. From there, just um, just line up the back case. Now from here, this is actually one of my favorite parts. You just basically um, connect. Uh, you basically just bring the back plate and the body of the laptop together. So every few centimeters, just um, bring it together and it should just have a satisfying click like that. There we go. Just want to feel all the clips coming together. Fantastic. All right. Once that's done, you just want to put all the screws back. just want to make sure the computer turns on again. Plug in the charger. And to get into the BIOS for this model, we want to repeatedly press the delete key. And you can see it successfully booted into the BIOS. Um, now let's confirm the SSD upgrade and the RAM was successful. So you go to storage option information, storage information here. We see our one terabyte SSD and you go to the system information and we can see that we, the second eight gigabyte RAM stick has successfully been recognized. And with that, thank you for watching and I hope you learned something. Until next time.